Good morning, everyone. Virgo Triad here. It is March 7th, 2019, and I hope everyone is having a great week so far. I want to make mention that my voice is really, really bad this morning, so please forgive me for being a little bit more monotone and if my voice wants to sound a little bit hoarse. I hope everybody can make it through this short video without there being too much of a problem. So we are back at a fact check, and this is one that one of the subscribers has suggested, and I think it's a wonderful one. They suggested it to me yesterday, and I was able to actually get a hold of two different uh, doctors that were able to give me some feedback on 5G. This is extremely important because I was really shocked at what I found out. I actually did not anticipate getting too much feedback that was either direction. kind of anticipated it to be, eh, well, you know, we're not real thrilled about the actual waves that you guys are going to be experiencing, but we're not overly concerned about it either. And I found out some things that they do seem to be extremely concerned about. So I'm going to go over those with you right now, and I'm going to go ahead and play a, sh a, uh, a little bit of a movie in the background, a little uh, slideshow that's just basically a technology slideshow. And I'm going to do that because the majority of this are reports that I actually have to read. So I hope you enjoy this little uh, slideshow. As the old saying goes, give us an inch and inevitably we will want a mile, right? And certainly the sentiment is absolutely true when it comes to humans and our technology. Who really doesn't want things to be faster or smaller or more efficient or whatever the latest thing is? Let's take wireless mobile telecommunications. Our current broadband cellular network platform 4G, or four generation as we call it, allows us to transmit data faster than 3G and everything that preceded. We can access information faster now than ever before in history, and what more could we possibly want? Oh yeah, transmission speeds powerful enough to accommodate the rather horrifying so-called quote-unquote Internet of Things, which brings us, of course, to 5G. Until now, mobile broadband networks have been designed to meet the needs of people, but 5G has been created with the machine's needs in mind, and you guys really need to listen to this. Offering low-latency, high-efficiency data transfer, it achieves this by breaking data down into smaller packages, allowing for faster transmission times. Whereas 4G has 50 millisecond delay, 5G data transfer will offer a mere one millisecond delay. However, we as humans we won't even notice the difference, at least not in the speed. But it will permit sh machines to achieve near seamless communication, which in itself may open a whole Pandora's box of trouble for us and our planet. Let's start with some basic background on 5G technology that people may not actually know. Faster processing speeds require more bandwidth, yet our current frequency bandwidths are quickly becoming saturated. The idea behind 5G is to use untapped bandwidth of an extremely high frequency uh, millimeter wave, MMW, between 30 gigahertz and 300 gigahertz, in addition to some lower and mid-range frequencies. High frequency MMWs travel a short distance. Furthermore, they don't travel well through buildings, and they tend to be absorbed by things like rain and plants, leading to signal interference. Thus, the necessary infrastructure would require many smaller, barely noticeable cell, to cell tower situated, um, uh, well, barely noticeable cell towers that are situated closer together, I guess is the best way to put it, with more input and output ports than there are on the much larger and easier to see 4G towers that we have now. This would likely result in wireless antennas every few feet on every lamppost and utility pole in your neighborhood. Now let's talk about some serious health concerns. First, it's really important to know that in 2011, the World Health Organization International Agency for Research on Cancer classified RFR as a potential 2B carcinogen and specified that the use of mobile phones could lead to specific forms of brain tumors. Most people have already heard that. Many studies have associated low-level RFR exposure with a litany of health effects, including DNA single and double strand breaks, which of course leads to cancer. 
oxidative damage which leads to tissue deterioration and can also lead to premature aging. Disruption of cell metabolism, increased blood brain barrier, melatonin reduction leading to insomnia and increasing cancer risks, and generation of stress proteins leading to a myriad of diseases. As mentioned, the new 5G technology utilizes higher frequency MMW bands, which give off the same dose of radiation as airport scanners. The effects of this radiation on public health has yet to undergo the rigorous and long-term testing that is needed. In essence, what we're talking about here is uh, the adoption of 5G will mean more signals carrying more energy through the high frequency spectrum. And with more transmitters located closer to people's homes and workplaces, basically a lot more and more potent. RFR flying around us, it's no wonder that apprehension exists over potential risks to both human and environmental health, not to mention our pets. All right, so going through a couple of these um, reports, the things that I'm noticing that seem to be most upsetting to the physicians one out of the country and one here in the country at Stanford. Both are very concerned about the epidermis, so our skin. That is something that has a potential problem with regards to the 5G network and what it proposes. Also, there is concern with regards to just general mental stability. Apparently, these kind of waves have a tendency to actually cause severe depression and in addition to that, a lot of things like insom insomnia and just general headaches, feeling not real good. Um, and then, of course, there are the bigger concerns like cancer and um, a myriad of other issues, of course, as you heard. Glucose metabolism issues, increased blood-brain barrier, disruption of cell metabolism. These, these things can get quite serious. But the biggest issue that we've got, guys, is the fact that this stuff just simply hasn't been tested. It has not been tested well enough for it to be out there with everybody having to deal with it yet. There's also some tests that suggest in animals that this could be extremely dangerous. So in this particular case, I'm going to have to say that I think that this is something that needs to be looked into more. And as a result... I find this fact check to be absolutely 100% true. I do think there's extreme concern that is needed, and I do think there's a reason for all of these videos to be out there and talking about the, the seriousness of the 5G network. I hope this helps everyone, and I hope everybody can do their own research. Unfortunately, I do not have a link for these specific uh, pieces of information from the physicians because these were things that were sent to me personally. Uh, but I assure you that this is the information that I found out, and it's concerning enough for me to say everybody needs to do their own research, and um, hopefully by making some phone calls and talking to some congressmen, we might actually be able to get to, to, get to slow this down a bit so that they can do the testing that's needed before anybody gets damaged. All right, y'all. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.